Well, hello everyone. I just want to welcome you to the Michael E. Bush Annapolis Library, which is a lead gold building. There's just tremendous environmental and energy efficient features in this building. So my name is Skip Ald. I'm Chief Executive Officer for the Anne Arundel County Public Library. So this library is, it's just, it's been a dream of many of us for many years, in the works for really two decades with our Library Board of Trustees. But let me tell you a little bit about some of the features that make this a lead gold building. First of all, the, the parking lot right in front of where I'm standing has 72 geothermal wells that go down 475 feet. Now think about that. That is almost two football fields deep into the earth. That is what gives us our heating and cooling for this building. Another thing, another feature of this building, you see the glass here, it's called sage glass. We have 222 different windows that are uh, they're electrochromic computer controlled windows. They are timed with the way the earth rotates and the, the seasons. The other thing that can happen is when there are cloudy days, there are two sensors on top of the building that sense the sunlight and also do more to darken these windows. Individually controlled, it's just, it's just amazing. Another feature of this building is the lighting. Every bit of the lighting in this entire building is LED, including the, par the parking lot lights out here. So the icing on the cake of this building is the electric vehicle charging stations. Here in Annapolis and in Anne Arundel County, you can have a great time and you can charge your vehicles right here at the Bush Annapolis Library. It's just a great building. I know you have several other speakers you want to hear. So welcome to Bush Annapolis Library. My name's Elvia Thompson. I'm one of the co-founders of Annapolis Green, along with Lynn Forsman. And we're here today at the Michael E. Bush uh, Annapolis Library to dedicate these beautiful new electric car chargers. And why is Annapolis Green interested in these? Because if you drive electric, there are no emissions, and it's a good way to mitigate climate change, something everybody can do. So we, in order to um, properly inaugurate these chargers, we have some very special guests. And the first one is the Secretary of the Environment for Maryland, Ben Grumbles. I'm Ben Grumbles. I'm Maryland's Environment Secretary for Governor Larry Hogan. And I'm honored to be here to be a part of this wonderful celebration. Despite the drizzly weather, the future looks bright green. It's green because citizens and businesses and utilities and local leaders and state leaders are all embracing a future of transportation electrification and zero, zero emission acceleration. And so it's wonderful to be part of this effort uh, to plug in and reduce emissions through zero em emission vehicles. Very proud of the fact that under Governor Hogan, Maryland just signed a national memorandum of agreement to virtually eradicate all of the diesel emissions from trucks and buses by 2050. We also are committed to getting 300,000 electric vehicles on the road in Maryland by 2025. We have a ways to go on that front, but with real progress like this at the library and working with utilities and local leaders, we're going to get there. And the other reason I just want to emphasize the importance of zero emission vehicles is because Maryland is a leader on climate change and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. And given that the transportation sector is by far now the largest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, we can be real leaders locally and globally by doing exactly what Anne Arundel County and, Arlen and uh, in Annapolis and the library and, and all the citizens in Maryland are doing. So on behalf of the Governor Hogan, congratulations to Anne Arundel County and Annapolis the, for the library and to and partnering with everyone else. And now it's a real honor to, to turn the uh, talking stick over to a dynamic environmental leader, and that is Stuart Pittman, the county executive for Anne Arundel County. Thank you. So I'm Anne Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman, and this is a great day, a little bit of a drizzly day, which is good for the environment, um, but it's a great day to be cutting the ribbon on this uh, charging station here. 
it's it's pretty clear to the residents of anne arundel county that nothing is more important than the environment that surrounds us and that climate change is real and that it is caused by greenhouse gas emissions including from the vehicles that we drive and so in anne arundel county we hired an environmental policy director, the first ever uh, when I came into office. And one of the things that we tasked him with doing, Matt Johnston, was to make a plan to get our 1600 county vehicles transferred all electric. And so um, I sent a directive to Central Services back in July, um, a very detailed letter about how that should take place. Um, the team there is on board. There's going to be an annual report. There's going to be a plan for, for building the infrastructure in our county to have all electric county vehicles. And one of the first things that we did was get together with BG&E. Um, thank you for making this so easy, BG&E, to get at county facilities, county offices, libraries, our North, North Arundel Swim Center, um, electric charging stations so that our residents and our employees who have electric vehicles have a convenience of getting them charged. So um, we know that, that this is going to help um, with climate change. We know the impacts of climate change in our county, um, which are sea level rise and some really serious storms, which is why we're creating a resilience authority with the city of Annapolis and a resilience plan for the whole county. So this is serious business. And I'm just so gratified that we have the state here with us. Um, we have BG&E here with us. Our great Michael Bush Library is the first site is, is so appropriate uh, for this charging station. And I wanna introduce Mayor Gavin Buckley to uh, say a few words as well. Uh, hi, I'm Mayor Gavin Buckley. I'm here at the uh, Mike Bush Annapolis Library um, with my friends who are all fighting for the environment as we are in the city of Annapolis. Uh, we've all realized the need to move away from carbon fuels and electrify our fleets. We're all moving in that direction. I want to thank our partners, BG&E, for being so supportive and being on the forefront of what we need to do be to become a smart city and save this planet. We know that we have to move away from burning things. And electric cars are a great start. And cities have budgets that have vehicles and other things that consume uh, uh, electricity and fossil fuels that we can uh, rethink and reimagine. Uh, not only are BG&E our great partners in uh, installing these uh, 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 chargers, they've been great partners to us in installing smart technologies, new lighting, LED fixtures. Um, they own the easements under the power lines that we can move towards creating bike paths and connectivities in our neighborhood so that we can move around, not just in vehicles, but on bikes, on electric scooters, on electric bikes. And we can reimagine how, uh, uh, how we move around our cities and make them better for the planet and do everything we can to make our bay cleaner and our country uh, a better country and a leader and, 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 and lead the way in this world on what we need to do to turn things around. So I wanna thank everybody that's with me I want to thank BG&E and I'm going to introduce Sam DuPont who's been an excellent partner from the start and understands where we're heading and is meeting all of our needs. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Sam DuPont with Baltimore Gas and Electric. On behalf of our entire electric vehicle team, uh, we're thrilled to be here at the Michael Bush Library to open this bank of chargers that you see behind me. Thanks very much to our a uh, key environmental partner in Annapolis, Annapolis Green, for setting up uh, this terrific event. A couple of thank yous first to uh, the Anne Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman and his team for being really early to engage with our EV Smart program uh, on the installation of electric vehicle chargers. Um, we really appreciate uh, his leadership. Um, secondly, of course, we're standing here in the city of Annapolis and um, we're very excited uh, about our partnership with Mayor Buckley and his team, uh, both for EV chargers and also uh, other connected energy programs. Um, we look forward to continuing to install additional chargers in both Anne Arundel County and the city of Annapolis. Uh, thank you all very much. Uh, we're honored to be here. Uh, and I think with that, we're gonna go ahead and cut the ribbon.
Hi, I'm Corey Bonney, and this is my Model S Tesla, the most favorite car, the best car I've ever owned my entire life, and uh, everybody should own one. I love this car. It's so easy to drive in. It's very, very comfortable. It's like a car company that made a really nice technological uh, all electric car. And it's just a great feeling to drive past gas stations and think, never going in there again. And uh, it's got a lot of get up and go, that's for sure. It's a Jaguar I Pace, all electric. Hi, I'm Sergeant Rich Hartnick with the Hyattsville City Police Department in Prince George's County. Uh, stand, uh, next to me is a 2017 Chevrolet Bolt all-electric vehicle. Uh, we purchased this vehicle in 2017 and turned it into a police car as an experiment to show that today's electric cars uh, have sufficient battery range to handle police patrol. The car's now been on the road for three years. I drive it every day and I can tell you that it's been doing fantastic. It's had almost no maintenance whatsoever in those three years. Uh, and because it's all electric, there's no gasoline, there's no oil, there's no emissions testing, there's no spark plugs, no transmission to repair. Uh, in essence, it's almost maintenance free. So while our gas cars are in the shop all the time getting worked on, the electric car is out on the road patrolling and it's patrolling pollution free. Hello. Today I'm here in our BGE Chevy Bolt. Um, have the opportunity to drive this, it's a wonderful vehicle. Um, obviously great for the environment, and they also have a lot of neat features. Um, it's a really cool vehicle to drive. So this is a 2017 Nissan LEAF. It's um, before they redesigned with the new one. And I just wanted to point out that not all electric cars are crazy expensive. I bought this one used for about $17,000 on the road with only 7,000 miles on it. So. You know, there are a lot, there's a lot of used inventory out there and you can get a really good deal and drive electric at a reasonable cost. So I love the car, it's been a great car to drive, a lot of fun to drive, and extremely affordable to operate and to purchase. Hi, I'm Sam DuPont with Baltimore Gas and Electric. This is my 2017 Ford Fusion Energy. It's a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. I like it because it is extremely quiet, comfortable, uh, and I'm averaging about 50 miles per gallon uh, for the life of the vehicle. Uh, so it's great.